Hello and welcome back. The last time we begin, we began talking about the derivatives and the differentiation, the variation and the stuff. And today we will talk about the geometrical interpretation for the rate of change. Last time we mentioned the rate of change and today we will tell the geometrical interpretation for a certain purpose. We will say later this time. So if we draw the y and x coordinates like this, and we have a certain function which is have this line. this way. And this function is called fx. And it makes a certain angle, which is the slope of this function. So, tan alpha equals the slope. And here we have this function just moves a bit downwards so it will be like this here we have two distances let's say that they are A, B and this point C D and this is theta so tan theta equals the slope of fx also but this fx is different so this is f2x so here this is the difference between two distances as the last time we said that delta d equals d2 negative d1 here this uh, the variation between the slope of tan theta and tan alpha is the difference between the AB and the AC because this is the variation that happened. The function just moved downwards. So from here we can deduce that the slope of fx is the rate of change of this function because here this is difference between the two distances and this is the cause of the variation so we can say that tan alpha equals f x1 plus h negative fx over h so that it equals the rate of change and we get the limit of this function to get the tan of the function so this is a new way how to obtain the slope of a function different from the y2 negative y1 over x2 negative x1 the normal way of getting the slope if this is a newer way which is used in the differentiation to obtain the slope of a certain line. So this is the geometrical interpretation for the rate of change. That the rate of change equals the slope of the function. And we will have a problem here to show this point. For example, if we have a function of fx equals x to the power 2 and negative 1, and we want to, to get the slope of this function at the point 1 and 0, so we will put x1 
and x2 which equals x1 plus h and so the tan theta theta equals x1 plus h all power 2 negative 1 negative x power 2 positive 1 because here the negative goes into the brackets turning the signs so this becomes a negative and this one is positive over h and this equals x1 power 2 positive 2 x1 h positive h squared negative 1 negative x power 2 positive 1 all over h so apparently this goes with this those also to get at last here 2x1 plus h and by getting the limit of this by saying lim x or uh, sorry lem of h approaching 0 of 2x1 plus h gives us 2x and by substituting by because this is the x coordinate and this is the y coordinate so this 2x will equal 2 and accordingly we have tan beta equals 2 so this is the slope of our line and this is how we use the rate of change for gaining the slope of a certain function. And that was our lesson today and thank you for watching. See you next time.